How's it going YouTube? So in this video I wanted to show you how to change your key bindings in the text editor Atom. This is something that I've been having some trouble with for some time because if you're like me, you have the command S button uh, key binded to something else on your Mac. Like for myself, I have it for text to speak. But in Atom, that's the save button. And every time I click on the command S to save, it starts speaking to me and it doesn't save. So I needed to change that key binding, of course. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Okay, so here I just loaded up Atom, uh, just a fresh uh, page. And I'm gonna go to File. And I'm gonna go to Preferences and key bindings. And here, you'll see all of the possible key bindings, what they do, what the combination is, and what they control, and you know where, where it's stored, etc. cetera. Um, this is where I went to find how to save. So I typed save, and here I got uh, command, well, that, see, see, see there, I already changed it, by the way. So <laughs> it says source is user. That's because I previously changed it to command shift command s um so but that's also the save as i never use the save as feature um i only use it once to, to save the the file format of, of my document and that's it um so i i felt comfortable changing that to save um and it works perfectly now and i'm going to show you how to do it from the key bindings page find the command that you want to change in my case it was the save command so i typed in save Click enter and these are all of the, the things that came up. Right here it says the source is user because I already changed this um, previously. Um, so I changed it to shift command S um, because previously it was command S to save. And again, that's what I used text to speak and it just it had conflicts and would never save. So I changed it to shift command S. Now notice that it's the same one. Um, I don't know how. Uh, what the priority is right now as I have it when I click shift command s it saves and it does the save as pop-up doesn't come up So that's great. Um, that's exactly what I want So I don't know like what if this is taking priority or what but it's working for me So now that I did that I can click on this little icon right here and I think it, it, it would have copied it like so yeah Right here, you can override these by copying them and pasting it on the key uh, map file. Click on that. And now I can click on this. And what will pop up is this page. You probably already saw this page when you were trying to change your key bindings. Um, and here's what I already did. So all you have to do is go to that page and paste whatever you copied over and then start manipulating it right there. So if you wanted, let's say, F uh, instead of S to save for whatever reason, I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you did want that, then you can change it right there, or if you want to control, I think control is C-R-L, control. I don't, see, this is a good example. So I don't know what control is right off the bat. I'm gonna go to the settings page. Um, let me take a look at some other key bindings. CMD, CMD, Alt, okay, Command, Command, C, T, R, L, okay, so that's Control, so I would go to Control, okay, so that's Control, so I would go back to my key bindings, excuse me, my key map page, and I would type C, R, whatever it was, uh, and, and that's, and then I, that was it, that's it. That's it. I'm not gonna change anything because I have it set up the way that I wanted it I don't want a whole bunch of key bindings. I don't need them. Uh, I'm not that advanced All I wanted to do was to save on the fly and it wasn't working for me before but now it works um, So after you finish manipulating the page how you wanted it and changing your key bindings to whatever you wanted them All you got to just click save and then that's it. Okay, so that is how you change your key bindings in Atom Text Editor. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. And if it was, leave a like and uh, let me know how it worked for you. Thanks.